Hey guys, it's Anna Lee. Welcome to Specially Creative. Let's reuse a jewelry packaging box for another gift. So as you can see, this is really, really cute box. Like it's very firm, the color, it opens well. And I have this really cute gift to give and I just couldn't find a nice box. So I had this in my room laying right there. Like, you know, this is the perfect use for it. So I used the tweezers to start pulling off the edges because it's very, very important and crucial not to rip the cardstock that, that comes inside. You will be using this as a template later on. So now that the inside is all cleared and clean, next we're going to decorate the outside. Yes, so the next step is going to decorate the outside so then that way anything that we're gonna be gluing, it's gonna look very seamless. The name, I decided to cover it up with a little bit of cardstock just because the satin ribbon is a little see-through so you're it, without that cardstock you're able to see the brand of the box and well we don't want that to show so on the inside where it looks all messy right now none of it will be seen later on with the new cardstock that we're going to be putting inside so just glue it with your little hot glue gun i love to use the brand sherb Sure Bonder, which I've always been able to find it at my local Joann's craft store. It's an amazing hot glue gun. I always love it, love it, love it. I always praise it because it's amazing. Once you're done decorating the outside with some cute little ribbon, we are then going to focus on the inside. Remember that I told you not to throw away that template? Well, we are now going to be using it to create what's going to be on the inside. This paper, I was able to find it at Joann's. It's a like, nice texture, giving it a little more of an upscale to it. So using a ruler, I'm going to bend the edges of the paper so that's going to be a little easier when we glue it on there. It's where it's going to bend open and close and it will not rip the paper. It's a little hard to explain it, but hopefully by you watching the video, you're able to understand what I mean. So you're going to be adding some glues on the corners here and just be gluing it little by little. Don't rush little by little because it's a hot glue gun and if you mess up, you're going to have to redo it all over again. And ta-da! There it is. So now we can start decorating the outside. I thought it would be really cute to make it all just nice and girly, add a little bow on there. Make sure to cut the edges. I always like to do like a little V, V cut on it and to make it a little more curly. I added a little paper flower on there. Oh, just look how cute that looks. One more step is needed to finish off this project. I'm using a spongy material, the ones used for jewelry, and I cut it to the size of the box. Because I want to use it for a bracelet, I cut a small slit at opposing sides of the piece so the bracelet will move around. You could also do this for a necklace. The sponge will be holding it in place. I place the bracelet in the slit and there it is! It is all set and ready to give away. What do you think? This is a great way to repurpose those jewelry box packaging. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give me a follow for more fun ideas.